Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. So today we're going back to Fleens, this time on the very, very hard difficulty, because like the first video, the very hard and very, very hard difficulties, while they're not absolutely identical, we solve them the exact same way. So I'm just going to lump the both of them into one video and show you off how to use the algorithmic solution to solve it on this difficulty. It's very interesting. All right. So once again, it starts by putting this Zumbini out here. However, that's where the similarities end, I'm afraid. Because we no longer have direct correlation between Zumbini traits and Fleen traits. Any trait can correspond to any uh, Fleen trait. So looking at this guy, he's got a purple mohawk, triple eyes, black nose, and brown boots. Well, there's only one of those traits that appears up on that tree branch, and that's the brown boots. So, let's look for a Zumbini who has one trait in common with that guy. Yeah, she has two. He only has one. Roller skates. Let's put this guy down. Let's see if feet correspond to feet. Feet don't correspond to feet. Feet correspond to hair. Lovely. However, that tells us a good deal, because... Because Zumbini feet correspond to fleeing hair, I'm noticing there are only two fleens with viking hair, and one of them is up in the tree. So let's find the Zumbini trait which only belonged to two in terms of feet. That's sprain. So lovely. It's either going to be her or her that when we send up will trigger her down. Now, she's got a green nose, and that guy's got a green nose, and this fleen has one trait in common of that fleen, which is the nose. So if we put her down, she's going to jump down. Alright, so we know fleen, fleen hair corresponds to Zumbini feet, and then Zumbini nose and fleen noses directly correspond. Excellent. Unfortunately, that's where all the fun's gonna end, pretty much. Because now we still have Mr. Brown Boots over there. But we know it's either gonna be someone of the same eyes or the same hair as that guy, but different everything else. Oh, very interesting. Oh, he's also got an almost identical twin, just of a different color nose. Okay. Well, well. Glasses or hair? Glasses or hair? Oh! Okay. These two guys have a bowl cut, and they have uh, uh, three features in common, but a different colored nose. That corresponds perfectly with this guy and that guy. Because this guy has a red nose, and that guy's got an orange nose, so now it's just a 50-50 shot of which one will go where. Let's count the color, the number of noses. So we've got three Zumbinis with red nose, and two with orange nose. There are three Fleens with the cyan nose, and only two with the yellow nose. So we're going to go with Mr. Red Nose, and he'll jump down. Oh, no, shoot! That was wrong! I threw down the cyan one. Oops, that was dumb. Okay, I, hopefully that won't affect our solution, though. So that's going to trigger that fleen to jump down. And now we know that this fleen up here needs to have a red nose. Unfortunately, that's it. We don't know any other details, so we're going to have to be very careful. Let's see. Nobody has that hair. No fleen down here has that color hair. No fleen down there has a visor. And no fleen down there has red shoes. So literally, red nose, every other feature has not appeared on a Zumbini up to date yet. We only have two Zumbinis left with red nose. This guy and this lady. This lady has sunglasses. This lady has sunglasses. Unfortunately, there's nothing in common between those two. So she's out, which means this guy is going to throw down the last fleen. So this one's a lot more about looking at your Zumbini group and looking at the Fleen group and making those minor connections together. But it makes for a very fun and interesting puzzle. Alright, let's do that one again. I, that was a lot of fun. Mm hmm Very interesting. Well, you know what the good news is? I'm noticing there's a fleen up there with three features in common, but different feet compared to that fleen. So let's try to find a Zumbini who has three traits in common of her. 
She has three traits in common. She's different eyes, so it looks like eyes correspond. Zumbini eyes correspond to fleeing feet. That is what I'm gathering from the looks of things. Or it could be her. Oh, that's not good. We actually have two Zumbinis in our group that have three things in common of that Zumbini. Really, that's... that's very unfortunate, actually. Hmm. Well, there's one fleeing up in the tree that has two fe uh, features in common of that, so we can find two features in common of this Zumbini, but only two. Um... <laughs> We only have two Zumbinis with sleepy eyes here. How about red bandanas? We only have two other Zumbinis with red bandana. I'm guessing sleepy eyes correspond to hair, or, uh, red bandana hair. So, two features in common of her. Not sleepy eyes is one of them. Alright, alright. I can get down with that. Only have three of Zumbinis that have bicycles as well, so that could also correspond to... Or no, that can't correspond to bandanas. That could correspond to purple nose. Okay. So if that's the case... Same nose and same hair. Different everything else. Alright, let's try her. That should trigger this... Yeah! <laughs> That's what the power of thought can do. Alrighty, alright. So it looks like nose and hair correspond to feet and eyes. Don't know which is which, though, but let's try to figure that out. So, red nose, we have three other Zumbinis with a red nose. And two other Zumbinis with green hat hair. Which means we should have maybe two other bandit masks? Looks like we have two other bandit masks. So green hat hair corresponds to bandit masks, which means that red nose must correspond to rockets. Yep. So no more red hat, no more red noses, no more green hat hair. All right. So knowing that nose corresponds to feet, we've got one, two, three, four flings with tank treads. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, orange noses correspond with tank treads. So one of these four Zumbinis is going to trigger one of these uh, Fleens to jump down. Now, all of these Fleens have completely different everything compared to them, so... It's not going to be her, because she's got sunglasses. It's not going to be him, he's got a propeller, she's got a propeller. So it's one of these two that'll trigger this guy to jump down. Now, let's see. Hair corresponds to eyes. So we've got one, two, three, four, five Zumbinis with spiky hair, and one, two Zumbinis with a bolt cut. When we have two Zumbinis with a cyborg visor, so I'm guessing it's cyborg. It's I'm guessing it's Cyclops bolt cut, which will trigger that guy to jump down. Booyah! Alright, so hair corresponds, so bowl cut corresponds to cyborg visor. We've got triple eyes. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three. Yep, five fleens with triple eyes. And we've got. One, two, three, four, five. With the spiky hair. Cool. We know it's not going to be spiky hair with an orange nose, because that corresponds to that lurid hair. Actually, no, it doesn't. That corresponds to the tank treads. Okay, so it's not tank treads, so it's not orange nose, but it's spiky hair without an orange nose. So it could be any of these three. Now, it actually can't be that guy, because that guy has a red nose. These lovely ladies had a red nose, and that guy doesn't have a bandit mask. So it's going to be one of these two. Now, this guy has one trait in common with that guy. That guy has pink shoes. This guy's got pink shoes. This guy's going to trigger that fleeing to jump down. So it's a complex algorithm. It involves a lot of looking at people. But if you do that, you can get a very efficient finish. Alright, one more time, I think. I'm having way too much fun with this. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, yeah. 
Alright, I'm noticing there's Viking Hat and Tank Treads up there. So let's find a Zumbini with two traits in common with that Zumbini and put him down. Let's see... It's not Orange Nose. There are only two other Zumbinis with an Orange Nose, mm -hmm. and the other two have three traits in common, so... Is it Nose to Nose, maybe? No, it's not Nose to Nose, though. Those two don't have enough in common. Oh, okay. Orange. So noses correspond to hair, so orange nose means purple mohawk. Which means these two differ only by feet, so feet correspond to eyes. So we need someone with roller skates, and then one trait in common that's not a nose. So roller skates, and... Roller skates and sleepy eyes. Jump down, please. Alrighty. So then these two have one trait in common. Or they have two traits in common. Feet and eyes. We have only one of Zumbini with roller skates, but we have two more fleens with tank treads. Which means sleepy eyes correspond to fleeing feet. So we need one more Zumbini with sleepy eyes. Who will trigger that guy to jump down. And that guy has one trait in common with her. Well, that's gonna be... Green hat hair. So if I put her down, that fleen's gonna jump out of the tree. So as you can see, we're kind of learning which traits correspond to which fleen traits. And then once we figure that out, that makes it a lot more easy to discern which Zumini will trigger the fleens to jump out of the tree. Alright. Last fleen. It's got... You, we need different eyes? Or, actually... He's got true traits in common with this lovely lady here. <laughs> so let's see, okay. Zumbini hair corresponds to Flame Nose. So we need brand new hairdo. Alright, so brand new hairdo. Eyes correspond to feet, so we need someone with a brand new hairdo, brand new eyes. Let's see, they all have different hair, so we need someone with a green nose. And feet... We need someone with a green nose and a sprain. He's the only guy with a green nose and a spring, so he's going to trigger that guy to jump out. So as you can see, I'm solving this almost perfectly. Like, <laughs> very nice algorithm. It takes a while, but it's very fun to suss out. And that's all the time we have for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time, and I'll be showing off yet another solution to Fleens, which is um, kind of completely, utterly breaks the entire puzzle. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.